Good afternoon, YouTube's friends and family. Um, this is your girl, Laura. And I just wanted to um, talk with you today about perfection. Is there any such thing as perfection? Is there anyone in this lifetime or in this world right now that you would consider perfect? I don't think so. Who can find a perfect man or woman? I want to discuss the scripture that states, um, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And that can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. I had someone to discuss with me, and this was straight from the heart. They battled with insecurity, low self-esteem, not ever feeling good enough, not ever feeling perfect, not ever feeling like they fit in. And so they struggled with this question, why am I not perfect? And it got to me. I don't know what happened to this person. I don't need to know all the details. But something happened in this person's life that caused them to struggle with this question daily. Why am I not perfect? So I just wanted to encourage everyone. You don't have to be perfect in God's eyes. In God's eyes. He loves you just the way you are. And when he created everything, in the book of Genesis, he looked at it and he said it was good. So when he created you, he looked at you and he said it was good. You're perfect to him. Regardless of how other people have treated you, they may have treated you like you're unworthy, you're invisible, no matter who hurt you, no matter who judged you, no matter who talked about you, know that in God's eyes you are perfect. And know that when he created you, he created a perfect being. No matter what we have, um, disfigurements, uh, physical limitations, mental limitations, whatever our limitations may be, just remember everything that he created, it was good. And he didn't make a mistake. Everybody around you is damaged. Everybody around you has been through something. But there's no need for you to struggle with this load day in and day out, wondering why you're not perfect. You know, to the kid who um, sits alone during lunchtime, you are perfect. To the girl who never gets invited to any social outings, you are perfect. To the kid who gets chosen last for the team, you are perfect. For the kid who gets laughed at, teased, bullied, you are perfect. It doesn't matter how they treat you. So make up in your mind to let that burden go, wondering why you're not perfect. The very things that we consider our weaknesses may just be our strengths. It all depends on how you look at it. In the movie Split, the young lady who had been sexually abused and had all the scars and everything, it ended up being her strength. In the children's movie, Inside Out, sadness, even though everybody wanted her to stay away because she was always so sad and so depressed, in the end, her sadness was her strength. And so, I just want to leave you with this. Um, the entertainer singer Pink, um, she made a song called Perfect. And I'm just going to read to you um, just a few lines from her song. Um, I want to make sure that I don't violate any copyright laws or anything. And it says here, and this is Pink's song, Perfect. It says, mistreated, misplaced, misunderstood. Miss, no way. It's all good. It didn't slow me down. Mistaken. Always second guessing. Underestimated. 
Look, I'm still around. Pretty, pretty, please, don't you ever, ever feel like you are less than perfect. Pretty, pretty, please, if you ever, ever feel like you're nothing, you're perfect to me. And so I just want to leave you with the, the lyrics to that song, a few of the lyrics to that song, and just think about that. Don't ever think that you're less than perfect. God loves you, and he always will, and he wants the best for you, and he has a plan for your life. Doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. In the end, the only judgment that matters is what God thinks about you. So take this life, run with it, be the best that you can be. God gave you this life. He created you with a purpose. He didn't make any mistakes when you came into this world. So run with it. Run with your life. Fly. Soar. God bless you. Okay. Until we meet again, you know, remember that God loves you. He wants the best for you. He has a plan for your life. I really enjoy talking with you every day. If you like the content of my YouTube videos, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. And until we meet again, my friends, bye-bye.